Hello YouTube and fellow DDR members. This is Mr. Eminem and Mr. Fishy. And welcome to episode 5 of our weekly Wednesday workshop. This week we're talking to you about one of our favourite formats of Magic the Gathering, Commander. Commander, formerly known as Elder Dragon Highlander, is a multiplayer format played with a 100 card singleton deck. This means that you can only have one copy of each card in your deck, excluding basic lands. The thing that makes this format unique is your deck's commander. One of your 100 cards is a legendary creature that the deck is based around. It is more easily accessible than most cards in the deck, as it is kept outside your library in an area referred to as the command zone. You may cast your commander from this zone at any time that you could cast it were it in your hand. Remember that it isn't actually counted as being in your hand though. It is also worth noting that there is no way to interact with the command zone through spells or abilities. Due to the unreliable nature of card draws from this kind of deck, commander games are usually very varied, with no two games looking alike. We will discuss how to build an effective deck later in this video. There are some major differences in the rules when playing commander, so here is a breakdown of the key points to note. Your life total is double its usual amount, at 40. If you take 21 or more damage from a single commander, you lose the game. When not on the field, your commander stays in the command zone. Once cast, if your commander dies or is exiled, you may choose to return your commander to this zone. Each time you cast your commander, you must pay an additional 2 colourless mana for each time it has been cast previously in the game. There is a format specific ban list for commander. There are some cards on here that aren't banned anywhere else, so be sure to check. Commander uses the Paris Partial Mulligan rule, which requires a thorough explanation. Instead of shuffling your initial unsatisfactory hand into your deck and redrawing a smaller hand, in Commander you exile your unwanted cards face down, then draw cards equal to the amount you exiled. If your hand is still made of butts, you can repeat this process, though you draw one less card for each time you do. Once you have finished the process, shuffle your exiled cards back into your deck and the game can begin. That covers the basic rules, so now we pass over to Mr. Fishy to give you a guide on how to build your commander deck. Thank you Mr. Eminem. Step 1. The first card you need to choose is your commander. Find a legendary creature that you like. Try to look for something that will support a style of play that appeals to you. Bear in mind that while multicolor commanders allow for more options when deck building, they are trickier and more expensive to design a mana base for. On the other hand, monocolor commanders are easier when designing a mana base, but have fewer options for the actual deck. Step 2. Work out your commander's color identity. Remember, any mana symbols on your commander are part of the color identity, even if they're in activation costs. Mana symbols in reminder text, such as extort, or the colour in words, such as protection from black, do not count. No cards in your deck can have a mana symbol on them that isn't in your commander's colour identity. Remember, basic lands have a mana symbol on them. Step 3. Find a winning image for the deck. Depending on what your commander's colours and abilities are, choose cards that will work well together, and that have a playstyle that fits your commander. Don't forget, your deck is made up of 100 individual cards. Your commander is the most consistent part of your deck, so your deck should get a benefit from being able to cast and recast your commander at any time. Step 4. If you can, include some commander staples. These tend to be lands or artifacts that are useful in almost every commander deck, usually for their ability to fix your mana or interact with your commander. Step 5. Make sure your mana base is effective. On average, a commander deck consists of 30 to 40 lands. If you're running a single color deck, you can almost get away with only basic lands. Each additional color will increase the complexity and expense of your mana base as you need to have access to all of your colors as quickly as possible, reliably. Step 6. Try to include redundancies in your deck. Find other cards that have a similar effect to your key cards to increase your chance of drawing the effect you want. For example, if you run white and blue and want to run ghostly prison, propaganda has the same effect but in blue. This is done to decrease the randomness of a singleton deck and help your deck play consistently each game. Step 7. Feel free to include some crazier cards and combos than you normally would in a competitive deck. Commander is meant to have a casual, fun environment, so it's a great place to throw in some cards that you like, 
but don't really fit into other decks. You'll find that when you build a commander deck, you'll have lots of room for these sort of cards. But as you play with your deck more and more, you'll see what kinds of cards you need to add in. As you do, a lot of these cards will slowly be taken out, but it's a good place to start if you need to fill out a deck. Unfortunately, this still doesn't really make Visidrix playable. We still love you. Step 8. Play the deck and keep evolving it. As said before, the more you play with the deck, the more you'll begin to understand what cards are working and what cards aren't. So keep playing and tweaking the deck until it functions exactly as you intend. As new sets are released, your commander deck can keep evolving as new, fun cards are printed. For example, check out this thing. Holy balls. That's it for this week, but hopefully you now have enough ideas to start putting together your first commander deck. As usual, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask in the comment section down below. We'll make sure to give you an answer as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next week. Bye-zy-bye-zy. Bye -zy.